Today we meet Kathy. Hi, Kathy, how are you? She's a successful interior designer to the stars and looking for the ultimate luxury home to entertain her family and friends. I need a lot of room for entertainment. She's about to see three amazing homes in some very upscale LA neighborhoods. Which of these luxury homes will make the cut? Pool is ginormous. Stay tuned. Welcome to our show. Today we meet our buyer, Kathy, who is ready to relocate and upgrade. Relocating for my husband's job. Um, my background's in interior design and um, sent me out here to pick a home. We've done very well for ourselves, so now it's time to upgrade. We'll be showing her three homes from Windsor Square at Hancock Park to Beverly Hills Post Office here in Los Angeles. Will she find her luxury home? Stay tuned. Kathy, how are you? Fine, how are you? I'm good, good to see you again. You too. I'm excited to get together and go through all the houses that you wanted to see today. I see you brought someone with you. Yes, this is my really good friend, Karen. Wonderful, hi Karen. Hi. Nice to meet nice you, welcome. Nice to meet you too. My husband couldn't be here today, so that's why I brought Karen with me. Well, we have some taste in home, so we'll see what we like. So we are in Windsor Square today in Hancock Park. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? And on a gorgeous day. Definitely gorgeous. But before I take you into the first house, I'd love to give you a little recap of what you're really looking for in a house. I want something large enough for my family, nice kitchen area where I can cook and entertain. A uh, kitchen is very important to me. I do a lot of cooking. Outdoor living is very important for me. Large rooms, large ceilings, at least four, maybe five bedrooms. Um, we're tall people, so I'd like big size rooms. I'm looking for something with a lot of character, okay. something that you just can't find every day. Being in Southern California, I would really enjoy a swimming pool. Okay, fantastic. I have three houses for us to see today. The first one is close to downtown LA. As I said, we're in Hancock Park. This is a beautiful, over 11,000 square foot classic home. I'm dying to show you this house. Are you ready to take a look? I am excited. Okay, let's go. I'm hoping to be wowed. I'm hoping to see something that I haven't ever seen before. That's what's gonna speak to me. Okay. Come on in, ladies. Beautiful. <laughs> Grand entry, right? I'm gonna close this door so you can really get a feel for how peaceful it is inside. So I'm standing here in the main area because I think that one of the most beautiful elements of this house is the original details that are still here. You have this beautiful entryway where you see the stairs leading up to the bedrooms upstairs. But I'd love to take you first into this beautiful family room. This is your formal family room. Spectacular. Look at these large windows. The original windows restored. Again, the molding all restored. It's so exquisite. The detail in here is phenomenal. Isn't it? And it, this house is over 100 years old. And it's just so beautifully restored. The floor is original. Wow. And then you have this stunning fireplace. I love the fireplace. Here's more of a casual family room that transcends into your outdoor space. Look at that. You have that classic element of the old world charm here. And you've got the French doors that open up to your patio. For being in downtown LA and in such a busy street, there's so much privacy. Right. Now we're going to go see the kitchen because I know that's really important yeah, for you. It is. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, look at this kitchen. <laughs> Who's the cook? Well, it would be me, and this is my dream kitchen. Isn't this absolutely <sighs> stunning? It's a culinary kitchen. It really has everything you would need for cooking, an incredible meal for your family. Mm -hmm. I know that's really important for you. Definitely. You've got your refrigerator there with the appliances. They're all Thermador, very high-end appliances all the way around. You've got your apron-style sink here, which is reminiscent of sort of a farm-style feel. Um, and again, everything 
extends to the outside space. So you have a wall of windows all the way across from the previous room that we were in into the kitchen area. Oh, it's beautiful. Kitchen was to die for. You couldn't want anything more in a kitchen. The room, the light, you'd want to be in there all day long. And the nice thing is you still have another family room. This is another intimate family room off the kitchen, which allows you to see your family, entertain, communicate. Are you gonna be spending a lot of time here with her? Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think now she's going to. Now she, she wants will. Be Definitely. I love her cooking. <laughs> now let's enjoy all this property has to offer. It is a beautiful sunny day, so you can appreciate how beautiful the landscaping is here. All the color, all the flowers. There's so much room to entertain. You've got a, a place to lay out here, alfresca dining. There's a guest house as well. And then you have an additional area back there where you can sit by the fireplace. It was just wide open, lots of entertaining space. I could see my friends and family really enjoying the time there. It'd be hard to get them to leave. <laughs> the pool is ginormous. And you have a jacuzzi. Oh, beautiful. Couldn't ask for anything more in a backyard. So we're going to go upstairs and see the master because that also overlooks this beautiful oh backyard. Are you ready to yes, do that? Let's okay, go. let's go see the master. Kathy, are you in love with the design as much as I am in this house? It's perfect. I mean, everywhere you look, look at the molding. Very simple, very elegant. Very elegant. And here is your master. I know the master was really important for you. You wanted a very large master with a seating area. Is this master large enough for you? Oh, definitely. Oh, I'd love to see the closet. Okay, we're going there next. It's right behind you. Master bedroom was lovely. The house flowed so evenly. Bright, beautiful. Look at this master bath. Oh. Ooh, here's yeah, a closet. I'm so that's his, right? He always gets that's the smallest his. one. Exactly. She has to get the big one. But, I mean, Look at the detail here. It's the so beautiful. Sink. Oh my gosh, the mirror door. And it's just so beautiful because it's modern but classic at the same time. And I love all of the metals. It's very glamorous. And here is your closet. Come on, Karen, let's go look. Oh my gosh, Karen. Does that satisfy you? Oh, definitely. <laughs> built-ins, this is gorgeous. Beautiful. Yes. It's the size of most bedrooms. Did you see the soaking tub? Wow, it was more than I ever dreamed that I could ever have. <laughs> this looks like old Hollywood. Right. Oh, the vanity. And you have a wine fridge if you want to have it. Well, that's wine? it. <laughs> I mean, oh, so. A bath with wine. <laughs> It couldn't get any better. You have your glass of wine, go into your bath, and again, everything is overlooking the outside, the backyard, your property. It really is breathtaking. Yeah, and it's so private. I just can't believe how... No one can see in. No one can see in, and we're in such a busy area. Mm -hmm. It's... It's like your own little resort. It is. It's cool. The bathroom was to die for. That tub, his and hers closets, old Hollywood glamour. I loved it. What about you? I loved it. Just so let's talk about the next thing. It's really important. What do you think the asking price is on this house? I don't know. I would go up to maybe 15 million at least. 9.9 .9 million gets you all of this. And I know it's over your budget because you were sort of in the range yeah. of four to eight, but I wanted to show you how much more you could get for just a little bit more because we have two more houses to see. Okay. It's always good to compare. Okay. Lowest to highest range and see what you get for all of that and then make a decision. Okay. So let's go to the second house. Are you ready to see that one? I am. The other two better be spectacular because that one's going to be hard to beat. We have two more luxury properties to check out on this LA house hunt. First, we check out the superlative five bedroom canyon estate in Benedict Canyon. Then we check out this sophisticated four bedroom Beverly Hills home with amazing treetop canyon views above Coldwater Canyon. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Hi, how are you? We are following the home buying decision of Kathy. Beautiful. She's looking for the perfect luxury home for her and her husband. The first house was a classic eight bedroom masterpiece in the wealthy Windsor Square neighborhood of Los Angeles. The pool is ginormous. And you have a jacuzzi. A beautiful, couldn't ask for anything more in a backyard. 
but in the end, the house didn't quite check all the boxes. The next house is a spacious five bedroom canyon estate in the exclusive 90210 area code. Could this be the one? Okay, we're at house number two. Very nice. <laughs> the house we're seeing right now is very different from the first one. It's much smaller, but it still has a bit of an old world charm to it. So we're gonna go take a look at this house and see what you think. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. So this home has over 5,200 square feet of living space. And as you see, it's got a sunken living room and it's off the formal dining room. Well, the entryway was not as grand as before, but I do <laughs> love the Juliet balcony. Yes. That's something you don't see very often. That's true, you yes. notice that. And we'll see some really beautiful bay windows upstairs. Oh, great. Which I think you'll like. So let's see the dining room. The Juliet balcony, I mean, who has one of those? <laughs> Nice, I like the arches, but I'm concerned a little bit about the size. It's not as large as I was hoping for. I don't know if I can get my whole family around a table in here. Okay, well let's see if the family room with the kitchen works for you. The rooms downstairs just really aren't as large as I was hoping for. You still have the nice island that overlooks the outside, which you love, you wanted to see the outside. It's very nice and bright and roomy. Okay. Yes, I do like it. Okay, good. I love hearing that. Then you have a breakfast nook and you have a formal family room there, which is nice off of the kitchen and the breakfast area. Kathy, here's your balcony. Oh, I love it. Karen, look at it. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? You can see the front door. <laughs> you oh, can see below. Say hello to your guests. Oh, I love this. It has so much character to it. Isn't that it. nice? It is. So this leads into the master bedroom. Fairly large master. What do you think of the size? Oh, beautiful size. It kind of has a Spanish feel to it. Mm -hmm. I love it, the recess, the lighting. Yep, and you've got the vaulted ceiling here again with the lights lighting it up from above, which is really pretty. The master suite was really nice. And then we go into the master bathroom. Oh, it's beautiful, large. I feel like it's a spa. <laughs> it does feel like a spa. So this is his, again, right? He gets the smaller and you get the bigger. Oh, I love it. So this is hers and you get the bath. Oh, that's fine. And the shower. What is this I see here? Oh, yes. Go inside. <laughs> oh my that gosh. That was a little surprise. Oh my gosh. So after a long day, you can go into your sauna. My husband wouldn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not his side. That's his uh. side, he needs to stay there. <laughs> but no, you could share it, and this is really nice because you wouldn't think a house would have this here. Exactly. But they really did a nice job of including it so it feels more like a spot. You've got your sauna, you've got your bath here. It's not as light in the area as the first house. It's true, it's not. So I have to get past that. But let's see what outside has to offer. Let's get past this and see outside and see if it's light enough for you there and kind of compare. Okay. Okay, let's go see outside. Kathy, how about these gardens? You know, they remind me of the Getty Museum. I know that we're close, but it kind of has that feel. Yes, and then you've got really nice gardens above, which is your lot here. And then you have the pool. Mm. which is so beautiful and quiet and very romantic sort of corner. And you still have your outdoor kitchen area. It's very private back here. What do you think the asking price is here? I definitely think we'd be paying for the zip code here. It is 90210. Yeah, maybe five. They're asking 4,189,000. For you, I think it's a little small. For your life. It might be a little bit small. Okay, I know you like the area, so I do have one more house picked out for you in 90210. I'm excited. I Let's see go. it. Are you ready Let's to go? go. Let's yes. go see house number three. I'm excited for that. Yes. It might be the perfect house. There's only one more house left to see on this LA house hunt. Could this secluded four bedroom abode in Beverly Hills be a deal closer? Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen two amazing homes so far in this LA house hunt with our luxury home buyer, Kathy. Beautiful. 
The first house was a classic eight bedroom estate in the historic Windsor Square neighborhood. The pool is ginormous. Couldn't ask for anything more in a backyard. The second home was a five bedroom canyon abode in the highly coveted 90210 area code that boasted a great outdoor living space. I was hoping for a little bit more of a front entryway. In the end, neither home quite made the cut. It might be a little bit small. Will this last home in Beverly Hills seal the deal? Okay, we're at house number three. Look at the grounds. Beautiful, look at all the lemon trees. It's I love it. Beautiful, Amazing. isn't it? So this property is very private, as you see. It's got this grand gated exit, gated entry, and you have almost an acre and a quarter of land here to just roam around. Okay. So we're gonna go see the inside of the house and see what you think. I'm excited, it's beautiful. Wonderful. So welcome to this beautiful, classic home. Very cozy. You've got this sitting area, formal sitting area, the living room here with the fireplace. Do you wanna step in and take a look? Okay. So this feels very warm and lived in and beautiful. Can you guess who used to own this house? Big celebrity. Oh no. Years ago. I'm curious, who? Paul Newman. Oh my gosh. Yes, so years ago, oh. they, he used to live here with his wife. So there's that authenticity you see in the elements that are in the house that are still here, but it has been updated. So this is a beautiful living room area and through the hallway, it leads you to your kitchen, which I know you want to see, oh, definitely. right? So let's go see the kitchen. You've got the serving area here and then you have a, a formal dining area on this side, which leads you into your kitchen. Oh. It's a little bit smaller than the previous ones we saw, but it is ample enough for you to still have family sitting around and cooking. And then you also have your range and high-end appliances here. It's separated there for prep. Love it. A little bit dark, Okay, but I do like it. So I think you're right, but I think that we can combat that by maybe painting in here. What do you think? Sheep. Yeah. <laughs> then you have the light coming in from the outdoor patio and the front patio, which is nice. I don't know if you noticed that when we yes, were walking lovely. in. You can have your coffee there. I could. <laughs> and see the front of your property, or you can go dine outside, which is the back of the property, which has far more to see than you would think that you would have here. So I'm really, really excited to show you that. But let's go up to the master, and then I'll take you outside. Great. So here's your master. It's, I would say, pretty similar in size uh, to the last one. But you do have a bay window too. Cute. Isn't that pretty? It's very yes. cute. Looks yes. into the tree, yep. bookcase, really nice tall ceilings. Definitely. Definitely. And then we have a balcony. Again, oh, taking advantage of the beautiful view of your massive land here on, the, on this property. There's so much land and it's all yours here. Okay, so let's go here. I love the balcony. Into our bathroom. I do wanna see it. Okay, so you saw the closet yeah. and the bathroom. It splits off, so they're separated, which is nice. What do you think about the size of each? They're actually not that small a usable space. I was surprised. I do like the closet. What about you? What do you think? I love the closet. The bathroom, I think, needs to be updated a little bit. And the other two properties, you did have it, his and hers, which was separated and nice. Here, you just have one. Smiling, because you want to go outside? Oh, definitely. I want <laughs> I know, to see I see you looking there. through me <laughs> to the outside. We're going outside. Let's okay, go there and see what we, what we can find. So, does this feel like you're in Los Angeles? Not a bit. <laughs> no. Not a bit. Where do you feel like this could be? Oh, out in the country someplace. It's fantastic. So see, I love how this feels when you see the back of the house. It feels like you're in the Hamptons, right? No, it doesn't feel like you're in LA. And the nice thing about this property is it's split level on the exterior part of it where you had your alfresca dining down there at the bottom. Then you took a few steps up and you have this beautiful pool and area to lay out. It feels like you're in Tuscany. And you do get an ocean view peekaboo from here through the trees. You have several moments all over this acre. You had a little seating area there, which was a quaint area to 
be with the birds and have coffee. You can have a, a day at the pool here. You can dine at the bottom. You can maybe even go hike there at the top or you can plant or garden. You have plenty of space for that. So these views are incredible. And the pool is yeah. fabulous. It, it is. Yeah. What do you think they're asking for this house? There's a lot of land here. <laughs> six million. I have to go with Karen again. I like six. Boy, you're still on the same page. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five million three hundred fifty thousand for all this which personally I think is an incredible value for the location. The, and the land. The land is unbelievable. Yeah. Very difficult to find this. Yeah. Okay, so you're in decisive mode. I know you're kind of like waffling, but I know you're gonna help her make the decision. But I'm not gonna ask you to make your decision right now. Okay. I'm gonna go away and okay. I'm gonna have you think about what you wanna do and which house you decide you wanna buy and let me know. So I'll give you the time to do that and I will come back. Okay. Think hard. <laughs> We've seen all three houses on this LA house hunt, and when we come back... So, have you made up your mind? Kathy will make the big decision. I think I'm gonna have to go with house number... Stay tuned. This is a shocking decision. Welcome back. We've seen all three houses on this LA house hunt. The first home was a classic eight bedroom estate in the historic Windsor Square neighborhood. The second home was a superlative five bedroom canyon home in Beverly Hills 90210. And the last house was a charming four bedroom hideaway also in the 90210 neighborhood of Beverly Hills. It's time for Kathy to make the big decision. What do you think? I really loved house number one. Yes. It's ginormous. I can see for entertaining. It has everything anybody would ever want. It was bright, it was beautiful. But, but it's, it's over budget. budget. Well, house number two, I think the street was too busy. And it wasn't my type. The rooms no. were small, the ceilings were low. I love this house. I love this <sighs> land. For you and the grandchildren, oh my gosh, they would think they were in heaven. But there's work that needs to be done. That's that like what you this love house. to do. You love to do yes. interior design. You yes, would make that's it your my own. background. You would make the inside your own and... It's only three bedrooms. Do I need more than that? Not really. I think you can make it work, but it's your decision, so well. what do you think? Okay, ladies, I'm so excited to find out which house you're going with. So, have you made up your mind? Do we have a decision? As much as I hate to give up house number one, I think I'm gonna have to go with house number three. Wow, this is a shocking decision. I love the privacy here. It's gorgeous. Well, you've made a great decision because you can never get this kind of land in this location for this price. So the value in terms of the money you're spending, you're doing a really good thing. So I'm Congratulations. I'm so excited for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping her make the decision. Thank you. And now Thank we're going to go make an offer. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go.